Hi, it's Tess and I'm here today to do a quick eyeshadow tutorial using some Makeup Geek eyeshadows. Let me see if I can move my camera out a little bit. I feel like my top of my head chopped off. Um, so the first thing I'm going to use is, I have all my other face makeup on. This is the paint, um, MAC Paint Pot in Chilled on Ice. So I'm going to put that all over my lid, clear up to my eyebrow. So we're going to put that on first, just lightly. This is going to be our base. You can use any light eyeshadow, um, cream, base, whatever you want. Just something to give your eyeshadow something to adhere to. Okay. After that, I am going to take an Eco Tools um, crease brush and the Makeup Geek eyeshadow in Frappe. And I'm going to put that all over my crease just lightly. This is just going to be a real nice quick look today, which I like on Sunday. Sunday is totally my lazy day. So, Makeup Geek shadows are freaking amazing. I can't say enough good things about them. They are awesome. So really blend that in your crease. Kind of get it down in there, both sides. Okay, after you have your crease color on, then we are going to go in with Shimmer Shimmer and a flat shader brush. Just tap that off, put that all over your lid. I highly recommend getting some of these Makeup Geek shadows because they are beautifully pigmented. They go on so nicely. They're really, really pretty. I'm also going to take the same Shimmer Shimmer color and my Sigma E30 pencil brush and apply this right under the brow bone with a very light hand because it's really, really shimmery. And also the inner corner. So just run that in your inner corner just to brighten up that tear duct area. Okay. Next, I am taking the color Prom Night, which looks like this, and another flat shader brush, just the e.l.f. dollar brush, and I'm going to put that on the outer part of my eye up to the crease just for some depth. Just a little bit. Then, um, I wasn't sure if I was recording there for a second. I can't see. The light from the window is reflecting on the screen of my camera. Then I'm taking the e.l.f. smudge brush, which is just a little or dollar brush, and a little bit of this prom night, and I'm going to run it under my lash line there, just to smoke it out, which I am a fan of doing lately. Just run that under there to give it a nice smoky look. Okay. And then we're going to take a black eyeliner. I'm using the Urban Decay 24 7 in Zero. And we're going to put this on our lash line as close to the lashes as possible. It's a very thin line. This is just to make your lashes look thinner, or thicker, thinner. You don't want them to look thinner. It's really, really, really close. Take your time, as close as you can. As you can see, that's all I'm putting on. That is, just, you know, very, very thin. Other eye. are getting stuff on them. Okay. So you got your very thin line of black on. I'm also going to run this in the lower water line. Just 
like that. Now I'm taking a blue color. This is the Jordana 12 hour made to last eyeshadow pencil in aqua stone. And I'll put that right above the black liner on the upper, on the eyelid, just right above the black. Like that. I just really, really like how this looks. I've been doing this a lot lately. And you can use any color. You can use green, purple, pink. I don't know about pink, but some people like pink. I don't. Okay, just like that. All right, and then I'm gonna take this down here just a little bit. It's like the outer third. Okay, now we're going to do mascara. I don't know where the lid to this went. I'm gonna curl my lashes. And then I'm going to use the uh, CoverGirl Professional Super Thick Lash Mascara, which I'm really enjoying. It gives length and volume to my lashes. And I like both. I like length and volume. And usually I have to use two mascaras to achieve this, but this one works really good. The only thing about it is you have to let it dry out for a week or two. So open it and then put the lid back on and set it aside. You know, do this a couple times, get some air in there, and then just set it aside for a week or two and then try it again. Because it really needs to dry out. Unless you really like a wet formula. I don't. Okay. Right? Do one coat on each side. We're going to go back in with the second coat in a second. I like leaning on my table. To my elbow, which isn't what I usually do. It's making it kind of hard. Okay. One coat, let it dry for a second. Go back in with a second coat. Really work it into those lashes. I just flung it on my face. Nice. Okay, there's one eye. There is the second eye. I'm still flinging this all over. And then do your lower lashes. Don't forget about those puppies. Right, and that is the finished look. I really like that pop of blue. I'm gonna put my glasses on here. And that is how that looks. Um, of course, now you can't see it because the glare from the window, which I can't stop. <laughs> All right, so that is the look. And now I want to talk real quickly about this exercise video that I bought. Last night I bought this video. It's Jillian Michaels Kickbox Fast Fix. Um, workout. There's three intense 20 minute workouts to cut you up quick. So I put this in this morning. I thought, oh, 20 minutes. Here's the back. That's nothing. Oh my goodness. It about killed me. I thought I was going to like puke or something. <laughs> I was sweating and tired and it was crazy. I don't know. That is a workout. So um, if you want something to really give you a really quick blast of intense workout, I highly recommend this. I got it for nine bucks at Walmart and it's a really good workout. Um, so I only did, there's three. There's um, upper body, lower body, and abs. I did the up, the lower body workout because I need lower body workout <laughs> bad. All right, so thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.